My name is Carol Rosen. In 1974, after being a sixth grade school teacher, I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. He said to me, Carol, you will stop the weaponization of space. And we have to prevent the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. There are many enemies, he said, against whom we're going to build this space-based weapon system, the first of whom was the Russians, which was existing at that time. Then there would be terrorists. Then there would be third world countries. Now we call them rogue nations or nations of concern. Then there would be asteroids. And then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. Here it is, my favorite segment of the morning. Real or just a hoax? The question comes up whenever UFOs are mentioned, but now some new support that may surprise you. Tomorrow, former military personnel are speaking out for the first time on camera about their personal experiences with UFOs in Washington, D.C. Well, here's something you don't see or hear very often. Former Air Force officers held a press conference today in Washington, D.C. Over 120 retired military personnel warned of a quote-unquote ongoing and alarming intervention by unidentified, get this, aerial objects at nuclear weapons sites. Now the United Nations is getting ready for a contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offerman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. Here's the rationale. Sometime later this year, maybe early next year, astronomers will announce that we have discovered Earth-like twins in outer space. And when we gaze out the night sky, somebody may be gazing back at us. But it's not going to be a two-way conversation. It's not like E.T. phone home. It's going to be a one-way conversation, eavesdropping on aliens from outer space, perhaps. A team of planet hunters led by astronomers at the University of California in Santa Cruz and the Carnegie Institution of Washington has announced the discovery of a planet orbiting a nearby star, Gliese 581, at a distance that places it squarely in the middle of the star's habitable zone. This would be the most Earth-like exoplanet and the first truly habitable one yet discovered. The research was supported by grants from NASA and the National Science Foundation. Images show planetary orbits of the Gliese 581 system compared to those of our own solar system. The Gliese 581 star has about 30% the mass of our sun, and the outermost planet is closer to its star than we are to the sun. The fourth planet, G, is a planet that could sustain life.
repeat to me over and over. And the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. And then he would repeat to me over and over. And the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Хорошо, подберите все вместе. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Yes, yes, yes. Emergency. 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 Em